Or here we are going to verify if this equation is a solution to this differential equation. And as we can see, we have the second derivative here, right? So we are going to get the second derivative from this first. So here, first derivative, let me write down y prime. This is going to be the derivative of 3 sine 2x. It's going to be, let me write down the 3. And the derivative sine is positive cosine. And the 2x stays the same for now. And the Qing rule says we have to multiply by the derivative of 2x, which is 2, right? And then we continue. Let me put down a plus first. And the derivative of e to the negative x is just first e to the negative x. And once again, the Qing rule says we have to multiply by the derivative of that, right? Which is negative 1. And this is what we have. And before we do the next derivative, let's clean things up. This is equal to 3 times 2, which is 6. And then we have cosine of 2x. And then this times sine is minus, and we have e to the negative x. That's the first derivative. And now let's get the second derivative. Right here, y double prime, this is what we. Let me bring down the 6 first. And the derivative of cosine is negative sine, and the input stays the same for now. And the derivative of 2x is once again 2. And let me bring down minus, and e to the negative x will give you e to the negative x first. Chain rule says multiply by negative 1 right here. All in all, the second derivative is this times that, which is negative 12 sine of 2x, and this times that is plus e to the negative x. And now, we're just plugging this and the original into y double prime and the y. And let's do some algebra from there. y double prime is that, so let me open the parentheses first. We have negative 12 sine of 2x, and then we add it with e to the negative x, right? Next, we will have plus 4 times y, and the y is the original, so let me write down 3 sine of 2x, and we add it with e to the negative x, like this. At the end, we'll, I'll end up with 5 e to the negative x. I don't know yet because, well, I haven't done anything yet, right? So that's why I put down a, a negative. That's why I put down the e a question mark. <laughs> Anyways, right here, let's see. Um, distribute this, distribute that. You guys know the usual deal. This is negative 12 sine of 2x plus e to the negative x. This times that is plus 12 sine of 2x. Right, this right here should be a 2x inside. And then this times that is plus 4 e to the negative x. Will I get 5 e to the negative x? I think so, because you see this right here, negative 12 sine 2x, and the positive 12 sine 2x cancel each other out. This is plus 1 e to the negative x. This is plus 4. So altogether, we can combine like terms. Here and here is 5 e to the negative x, which is exactly the same as this. That means, yes, that is a solution to this differential equation. And we are done.